New gear. Today, I'm going to show you my top 5 gear of 2021. First on the list is the Outdoor Axe from Ground Force Brook. It's a Swedish company. And after I bought this, I stopped using a big knife uh, on uh, my adventures. This small axe or hatchet compared with a smaller knife is an unstoppable combination. It's so much better making up firewoods and kindlings and um, yeah, prepare your food in camp. This is an amazing combination for everyday tasks in camp and uh, in the woods. So um, I highly recommend a small axe or hatchet combined with a smaller knife. And this is one of my best buys when it comes to outdoor camping gear. Second on the list is my all-time favorite, the Trangia 27. This is the Trangia 27 uh, HA, stands for hard anodized, I think. Most of you guys know that when I'm out riding, <coughs> I don't leave my house without bringing this. I make all my food coffee and everything on uh, this genius little thing. I think the Swedish really knows their stuff when it comes to uh, great camping gear. I didn't buy this in 2021, but it's still my most used camping gear for any season actually after I bought it. I could talk for hours about this thing. I really love it. It is amazing. The third on the list is actually a backpack. This is the Kriga 18 Trail. I have to say, this has impressed me a lot. A great backpack. I normally don't use backpacks, I'm not a big fan of them. And the reason I had to go for a backpack was because I needed something to I could carry my gimbal when I was out on smaller trips. There was kind of just two uh, alternatives here in uh, Norway. It was the Kriga and it was the Anderistan. And because my local shop ride Bergen had it in store, it was kind of an easy pick and I got a good deal on it. It has a big apartment for my water bladder. I have a 3 liter Camelback that I uh, used before that I just uh, pick out the water bladder, bladder and uh, there's a hook inside so I can have that with uh, uh, the nozzle or what it's called. Uh, and the larger apartment that are waterproof outside on the back does fit my iPad when I'm traveling back and forth to work or um, clients when I do some work. And yes, you can fit a large MacBook inside it as well. So it's quite big and still small enough to bring on your adventures. I never thought I would recommend a backpack, but this is actually a really good product. It's not a backpack review. I'm not going to go into all the details and uh, all the other things. It's just that this is one of my top pick for 2021. Fourth one on the list. I know a guy going to laugh now, but... My heated jacket. This thing... Amazing. It's just... God damn brilliant. I would not leave my house without it, even in summer here up north. It is a must have for all adventure riders. Trust me when I say this is something I gladly would pay twice the price to get again. The heat distribution from the arms and all over the place, it heats up really quick. It don't take up too much space underneath your jacket. Even if I didn't bought it in uh, 2021, it's still my most used uh, layer underneath my riding suit. If you don't have one, buy one, without a doubt. Just, there's no questions about it. This is my top pick of anything.
My last one on the list, it's actually my new Patzel Actic, Actic uh, headlamp. I actually bought this in, uh, on my last trip uh, because I left my old one at home. Uh, this was the cheapest one I could find actually. I think it has 300 or 400 lumens. I have to say, this has been a really great headlamp. I use it for almost everything today. It's like uh, when I'm out running or um, doing small work on my motorcycle or in camp. I know that uh, some people really like uh, headlamps with uh, a lot of lumens, so you can call Batman. For me, that is not uh, a good option because it drains battery a lot faster. I'm not in situations where I need a lot of light when using a headlamp. I just need a little bit, and uh, this one has three different settings. You have a little bit light, medium, and beam. And that is plenty enough. The headband, it's really comfortable to have on your head. It, uh, it's, it's really easy to operate. It's kind of like you, you don't bump stuff. The, the old one I had, you can high beam with pressing on the side. I think it was a black diamond one. That I didn't like at all, but every time I tried to touch the headlight, it was going high wire. But this is just one button on top and it's really easy to uh, adjust. Yeah, so. The last one on the list. The Patzel uh, headlamp. Can't go on an adventure without it. Highly recommend it.